hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm not gonna talk for too long this amazing beautiful hair is from Eunice hair so if you want to see a review on it and how it looks and how i like it how to install it then just keep on watching so this is the hair this is the box that it came in it's a bit beat up because of the shipping. So this has nothing to do with Eunice. It's really just, you know, the company that sent it out. But yes, then they send me some goodies. And this is the hair right here. You guys, like, look at those bouncy waves. I love to see it. And look at that rich auburn reddish color. I love it so much. And I'm just showing you guys how you know, nice and silky it is. And now I am showing you guys the parting. So as you can see, it is like a tea lace and this is the middle parting that it has. And these are the side combs for a good grip. And there's a comb at the bottom too for grip. Here I'm showing you guys that there are adjustable straps also, so you can make it as tight as you want. So now I'm putting it on so you can see how it looks right off the bat, right out of the bag. And look at this. I know I look crazy, but I'm already loving it. I can already tell it's going to look so nice. And let me show you guys the length. And I'm trying to see if I need to pluck it and I do need to pluck it a little bit so that it can be you know realistic looking there's not much parting space but we will do what we need to do it's still gonna look bomb.com all right so now it's time to customize the wig so I'm going to put the wig on my mannequin head and secure it with two pins and then I'm going to brush it back with a comb and I just put my wax stick on it. And now I am taking a hot comb and I am putting it backwards. And you guys, this is the best way to do it in order for you to pluck properly, for you to see exactly what you're doing and what you're plucking. So now I am just plucking it. And um, if you guys want to see a full video of how to pluck it, let me know. But yeah, this is what it looks like after I finish plucking it. It looks much more natural. Uh, there's not a lot of parting space to work with, as I said. However, it's still nice and pretty. And now I'm showing you guys what I mean by there's not a lot of parting space. There's tracks right there, right? So it's not like a full frontal. It's a four by 0 0.75, I believe, so yeah. Now I'm just going to comb it down and style it the way I want, and I'm also going to pass a hot comb through it just to make sure that it's nice and flat. So now I am putting on the wig to see how it looks, what I need to do, where I need to put it, and as you can see, the lace is not it right now. <laughs> and you can also see the wig cap, but there is a quick fix to that. So I take my Fenty bronzer along with a flat brush like this, and I am going to put it all over the lace and I'm going to focus on the hairline because that's really where you want it to be blended out. So it could look like so it could look like it's coming from your scalp. So as you can see, it's looking like it's blending in with my forehead much better. And now it's time to make the wig cap the same color as my forehead well as much as I can <laughs> so this wig cap came included with the wig so thank you Eunice hair again for that and I'm going to take that same bronzer and I'm just going to go over the wig cap 
and it might take a while it's easier when I do a bald method like the bald bald cat method but I don't really have time to do that right now so this is just going to have to work for now And now it's time for me to cut the lace. And as you guys already know, I always do like a zigzag motion. I never cut it bluntly because that way, if you do cut it bluntly, it's just going to, it's not gonna blend in nicely. So yes, I always go up, down, up, down, up, down. And I never really use scissors. I always use a razor. And now I'm putting back on the wig and let's see how it looks. Look at that, you guys. I'm loving it. It's blending so much better than it did before. I'm really, really happy with these results. And it's going to look even better when we put a little bit of glue and we lay that. You guys this is an absolute look i am so in love with this right now honestly you could wear it just like this you don't even have to glue it you guys you could just wear it like this oh and now i'm showing you guys how it would look like if i did a side part because yes even though it's meant to be a middle part you guys can finesse it into being a side part do not sleep on closures honey <laughs> but yes so basically I'm for the purpose of this video I will do a middle part though but yes you don't even need to really glue it but I'm going to do that and you'll see how it ends up and now I am just going to style the hair and prep it for some baby hair because you guys already know when it comes to closures in order for it to look like a frontal we gotta put baby hair all right and now i move the wig back and i'm going to put the glue on my forehead exactly where i want the hairline to be and then i wait for it to get nice and clear like this and dry and then this is when i can put it on top of the glue and i have a really big forehead you guys so i like to put that like right up on my forehead <laughs> And now I'm cutting the baby hairs and I'm going to style them and then I'm going to lay the hair down. And now I'm going in with a hot comb to make sure it's nice and flat. And you'll see the difference between the side that I put the hot comb on and the side that doesn't have the hot comb. All right, so I did my makeup off camera and I am now going to take off the band and let's see if it laid or not. Look how nice this looks, you guys. Even the baby hairs that are laid and everything, it just looks really, really good and I'm really happy with the results. <laughs> So yeah guys, this is the final result. Tell me how you guys like it, if you like this color on me. I used to do this color all the time, but I am loving it. Look at that, look at those waves. This wig is just amazing. When it comes to shedding, it shed just a tiny bit. It's not too much shedding at all. Um, and I think I show you guys this now, yep. I see like just one or two strands, so just one strand and then I do it again then I see one more strand but then when I do it one more time there are no strands at all so <laughs> I'm really happy about this this look is so nice and sexy shout out to Eunice hair for sending me this amazing wig 
I look at that you guys I didn't even bleach the knots and it's looking really really good so again all the information about the hair is going to be linked in the bottom thank you for watching and see you next time